Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord JS series. So in today's video, I'll be making a set birthday command and also we can check the birthday by using a command. So we're gonna use uh, MongoDB. If you don't know what that is, I already made a video on it. Uh, make sure to check that out. It's called Mon uh, setting up MongoDB. So um, I currently have two files. Let me just zoom in, okay? And then just go to models. If you don't have models, just create a folder called models. Okay, this is the base directory. If you just ignore this source folder, um, it's actually all the same, but um, it's in the main directory, but I just put it all in source. So just create a folder called models and we can create a schema. So let me just say birthday.js. Okay, the first thing I want to do is want to require mongoose. It must require mongoose. Okay, and then we're gonna require um, we're gonna do con schema equals new mongoose dot schema. Okay, we're gonna take in the guild, uh, which is a string. We're gonna actually we don't need guild. We just need the user, so it can be um in different platforms. Okay, and then we can just do user as a string, and then we can just put a uh, birthday as a string okay so we're gonna string save string data okay and then um we can do module export equals uh mongoose.model and then we can put any name we want i'm just going to birthday and then comma and then schema okay perfect and then uh, i've created as you can see here i in commands i created a folder called birthday of course you can put it wherever you want i created two simple files which is set and check um this is the basic setup for my command handler okay for set i'm just gonna name it set you can name it anything you want something like set a uh, birthday or whatever you want i'm just gonna name it set because i only have a command name set and then um birthday i'm just gonna pull it to the side and let me just do it something like this um pull this like that and then for check, I'm just going to put check over here. So let's just start out by doing the set JS. So uh, we're going to require it from birthday.js. We're going to require the schema. So let's just do con schema because require. Okay, as you can see here, we're actually going to directories um, back and then we're going to go inside models and then we're going to go inside birthday. So let's just do two directories back, we're going models and then we're going to go inside birthday. Okay. And then um, in here, uh, here's a little bit complicated part. Um, here's the object. You can feel free to copy this down, or I'm just linking down in the description because it really it's like time consuming. So I'm just gonna leave this part of code down in the description. And then um, this is just basically the assigning the months, and then we can convert it later on. Um, and then we can just do const join. Okay, we're gonna join all of the arcs together. Okay, and then we're gonna split it. Split equals to join dot trim dot split uh, slash. So what you're gonna do here is basically the command is gonna be something like um, something like this. Y set, and then we're gonna set the like something like for my birthday is five twelve. So we're just gonna do something like this. So basically when you join, it's actually you don't need join actually, but um never mind, let's just make it join, okay? And then when once we split it, okay, this what it does, it just changes all of the um as you can see here, it's splitting by this. So it's taking off this, okay. Um it's really weird. Um also join join not split. So arcs is basically this. And then we're gonna split it so it's gonna give us an array of 5 and also a 12 and then yeah there's, there's the thing of split and then once that's done we're actually gonna destructure it so we're just gonna do let let and then we're gonna do an array so first property is gonna be a day so we're just gonna put in day in here and then second property which is the um, month so let's just put a month in here okay and then equals split okay we can just do this and then 
Once that's done, we can do if there is no day. Let me just do return message dot reply. Let me I can close this message or reply. Please give a day. Okay, I'm just gonna write this quickly because you can customize it however you want with embeds whatsoever. Oops, message dot reply. Uh, please give a month. 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 Okay. So this is basically checking if there is data. Um, next, we're gonna check if it's a number. So if it's not a number, a day, or um, or is nan um month, we're just gonna do return message dot reply. Um, the date you gave isn't a number okay and then next we will parse the data into actual numbers so the day equals parse int day and then same thing is going to go with month equals to parse int month okay the reason i'm doing this is because i declared is uh as a let i use let so i can just do this Okay, perfect. So um once that's done we can actually um check if it's a valid day. So basically a day in a month it's gonna be one to thirty one. Right? And then we're just gonna check if that's true. So if there is no day, so no day basically it's zero. Okay, and then or day is more than thirty one. We're just gonna do return message the reply um wrong day format same thing goes to here we can actually just copy this and paste it over here or we can change month if there's no month or month is lower than 12 is higher than 12 i mean okay and then we can just change day to month okay so now we're gonna okay uh, i'm just gonna explain this so for um this days there is like first um let me just put comments so if one we're just gonna convert it to one st and then like second you're just gonna convert to second and d okay so second first so it makes more sense so i'll show you guys how to do this right now we're just gonna head down over here and let's just create a function we're just gonna name this suffixes suffixes okay and then we're gonna put in the number in here. Okay, we can use a number. And we can just do const converted. We're gonna convert the number equal number. Okay, I'm just gonna put our parameters in here. So let me just put a number so I can get IntelliSense. Number dot to string. Okay, we're changing it to a string. And then const last character equals to converted dot char at and then um it's gonna be converted length dot length minus one okay because length it's starting from one while the um um while the characters it's gonna start with zero um wait that's weird yeah so it's char, char at is like array so it starts with zero instead of one um yeah okay and then uh we're gonna use some ternary operators so we'll return so if last char is equals to one we're gonna make it so that um converted is equals to first and then we're gonna do the cons and then uh if last char is equals to two we're gonna give it a same thing converted and then will be nd and then next one will be the third one uh if last char let me just format this okay maybe not last char third tree and we're gonna do um converted rd 
lastly it's gonna be for basically um other than first second and third there is all of the surfaces for like four five six seven eight it's all gonna be th so you can just do th uh by doing actually we don't need this we can just put this and then we're gonna put converted and then th okay for some reason this isn't formatting so let me just format this like that so like this okay um if it's first we're gonna make it first if it's second we're gonna make it second if it's third we're gonna make it third or else we're gonna make it th so we're gonna return this perfect so um in here we can just do const converted day equals to suffixes and then we're gonna pass in the day which is a number and then we can do const converted month equals to um month and then we're gonna pass in the month okay and then we can uh, just we're not gonna save the data so i'm just gonna show you this how how does this work okay it's been 11 minutes well converted day of converted month okay let's just run this Unexpected token um, syntax error. I let me see. What's your point? Um, that's weird. Let me just check. I think I last char equals to one. Okay, that's correct. This is correct. Okay, this should be. Oh, I forgot to put this. I think this is second, and then this is gonna be something like this. I suppose and then in here there should be a colon okay so now it's formatted okay so um yeah I made a syntax error that's very shameful but yeah um, now it's formatted so we can actually see it properly so um let me just try this out and then we can just do y set y set and then we're gonna set um fifth of five slash twelve fifth of december which is my birthday and then we can just test this out with like first or second so like let me just do like one and then eleven as you can see first of november okay hopefully you know what this means um yeah that is your birthday okay so now we're gonna save it to the database um it should be pretty simple so instead of sending message, actually we can save the sending message. So we can just say uh, saved as saved. Let me just put saved. And then above there, we're just going to schema. The find one. Uh, we'll we're gonna find for the user message, the author, the ID, async error data. If there's data, um, and then we can just do data dot birthday equals to and then we can actually make this a string so let me just uh, copy this put it down const birthday string equals to this template controls and we can just put uh, the birthday string in here okay so data to birthday is equals to um birthday string and then we can just data the save and then else if there's no data we're gonna create a new data so new schema okay new schema user will be message 
the author oh my god my typos uh the id okay because it's 2 a.m and i just decided to record for some reason birthday string then we can just add a dot save down here okay then we can just save the data mm, yeah it looks good now we're gonna try to, um now we're gonna make the check command so we're gonna do the same thing let me just copy this over here paste it in here okay we're gonna check and then we're gonna check if there's data so schema.find1 oh actually we can define a user so we can check a person's um birthday so message the mentions the users the first or it's just gonna be ourselves message the author okay perfect and then uh, we can do um schema find one a user will be user the id async error data if data um if there is no data we can just say um return message the reply user has not set a birthday and then um we can do if there is data or uh, actually i don't know why i did that uh we can just send a message so message dot channel send um users birthday is on and then we can just do data dot birthday okay so you can save this and then we can just try this out real quick so my out account is not here and i don't plan to use my out account but it should work um the code looks great okay so i can just do okay we can just do y set 5th of december saved 5th of december so if i use the y check Recon's birthday is on the 5th of December. So let's just change this. Let's just say something. My fake birthday, which is, uh, let me just say 10th of December. So it was 10th of December. If I check my birthday again, it should change to 10th of December. Yeah, it makes sense, hopefully. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you face any errors, feel free to join the support server. Um, other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye.